know, it's thought of as the physician's third hand, the most widely used medical device, the stethoscope. But it has a dirty little secret that's about to be exposed. Co-founder of Aseptoscope, Dr. Alan Maysell, joins us here this morning to share more on this. Good morning to you, doctor. Hi, Eric. How are you? Great, thanks. You guys are a local company here in San Diego. Tell us about Aseptoscope, what it is, how it can keep people safe. I had no idea these things could get so dirty, doctor. Well, Eric, you know, we've concentrated for years on preventing hospital-acquired infections, and to that extent, we've got rigorous rules for hand washing, but we forgot about the stethoscope. People are gown, they're gloved, they have headgear, but the stethoscope has been uncovered. And in fact, we call it the third hand because whatever bacteria, very invasive antibiotic-resistant bacteria is on your hand is on your stethoscope. So it seems silly that the stethoscope touches 5 billion patients in the U.S. every day. Wow. And, and we do not protect it at all. And this was a problem that I saw coming as a professor at UCSD who taught the stethoscope to the young medical students for 20 years that this was an issue. It makes sense because we saw a video of all the different places you use the stethoscope to touch. There's breathing. It's around, especially with the era of COVID-19. I would imagine this is a concern. So what can people be doing to keep these devices safe? Well, Eric, it's a great question. And they just haven't been able to keep them clean up until now. We did a survey and uh, only 5% even clean them. And because it's busy, there's workflow, you don't have the materials. And then even if they do use alcohol, Eric, the bugs can get in the rims. Sure. And it, and it, just, and it just doesn't work. So what we needed to have was something simple that would not interrupt the workflow, that would go, be associated with hand washing. So we developed over the last two years and uh, something to try to solve the problem. And a lot of doctors didn't really realize it was a problem until the COVID-19 came out. And then we saw, oh my God, I'm covered, I'm masked, I have PPE. They were afraid to even use the stethoscope. Sure. So they weren't even using it. And could you imagine? And if they were using it, they were often using these little toy ones in the room, disposable ones. Eric, when you were a little boy at Christmas, yeah. and you got a toy Mattel stethoscope. Yeah. Great fun, but they were worthless. Yeah, if you're I bet. Who's in the hospital? Would you want someone to try to diagnose the pneumonia with something you couldn't hear from? No, and the you breathing know? is so important in in, yeah. in COVID nineteen. So show us how the device there works behind you, because well, I'm interested in seeing how. Yeah, you know, it's just this is this this sits uh, this sits right along. Okay. It's electric. See, you saw the stethoscope coming. Laser diode. It's hands free, touch free. You put the stethoscope there, and it comes out. This is this barrier we tested. Took a year to find exact right stuff that you could hear very well in. You go in, it's covered, and as you out, you put the lip in, and then as you go to the next patient, you can do the same thing. It sits right where the hand, the hand sanitizer, the Perel is. So you clean the two hands with the Perel. The third hand, you put the Discover on this. And you know what? We tested this, piloted in a hospital up in the LA area, a cancer hospital, bone marrow hospital. And oh my God, normally it takes years for doctors to, yeah. to really get on the pro. They were surrounding this. They all wanted to try it. One doctor, when he pulled this off, said, look at what was on my stethoscope because oh, wow. it came off on the underneath. I mean, it looked like a three-day-old pizza. So yeah. this, is, this is something that works and it doesn't interrupt workflow and it goes right along. We, we clean the hands, we clean the third hand, which is the stethoscope. So important in the days of uh, everything needing to be sanitized here. Doctor, real quick, the, the stethoscope, why is it so important, especially with COVID-19, why doctors need to use it, use it frequently, and have it have it be cleaned um, for the, for patients? You can detect a lot, I would imagine, using it. Yeah, well, sure. First of all, Eric, the stethoscope is the oldest icon in medicine. It really creates that bond between the doctor and the patient. Mm -hmm. And in COVID, patients are so scared. They see you with the stethoscope come in. Right. They Generally, they feel warm and they feel like everything's going to be okay. But this is the only thing you can use to diagnose infection in the heart, infection in the lung, where to point the ultrasound. And, you know, and you can follow this day by day, hour by hour. So we don't, this is the oldest. This goes back, Eric, to the days of in the late 1700s oh, yeah, sure. like that. synonymous first, with being a doctor yeah look at that the first stethoscope you know like that and it's it stayed with us so we don't want to lose it but because people are afraid to keep it clean eric they know it they can't keep it clean so they wrap a rubber glove in it to listen this that now yeah. they don't have to do it now as they you know as they walk in the patient's room 
right there. It comes out. Just as easy as each that. Patient, each patient off. The patients love it. And um, we're, we're very happy. Dr. So Mazel, incredible, incredible idea. I'm glad that uh, we're keeping things clean there. Where can people learn more about your efforts? Well, there's a website for aseptoscope, and the launch is just coming up in this uh, in this uh, next week. So awesome. we're really excited about it. It was a need. People were people once the COVID came saw yes, this is really a need. Definitely so, a need. Uh, we hope to contribute a little bit of part of this uh, very serious disease to keep transmission of bacteria, uh, you know, to the side. Thanks for keeping us clean and healthy. We really appreciate your time, Dr. Mazo.